All right, now at 10, the city of Groves is marking the end of an era. Fire Chief Dale Jackson is retiring. The 63-year-old is one of the longest serving fire chiefs in Southeast Texas. KFDM's Angel San Juan joins us tonight in the studio to tell us more about Chief Jackson's impact on his community and what's in store for him and the Groves Fire Department. Angel. Chief Dale Jackson is ending his impressive career where it all began at the Groves Fire Station. That's where 47 years ago he started as a junior volunteer firefighter rising through the ranks to the top job, chief for the past 31 years. And though he's retiring, Chief Jackson's final contribution to his community is still in the works. There are more than firefighters at the Groves Fire Station Thursday afternoon. Southeast Texans from across the area coming here for this man, Chief Dell Jackson. I've fostered a lot of good friendships, uh, and I'm going to miss that, being a part of that. Part of this firehouse for 47 years. Started out as a junior fireman, and I, we've kind of been debating on when that was. It's been so far back, but uh, three years I spent as a volunteer and worked my way up to getting hired, and the rest is history and historic. Jackson has earned the reputation as a chief's chief, leading his firefighters and citizens through way more than most of us could ever imagine, including an ice storm, several hurricanes, floods, and most recently, the TPC explosions. I was telling somebody, uh, been through everything but a tsunami. That's the only thing I don't think I had to, to worry about. And hopefully that'll never happen now that I mentioned it. And if it does, he won't have to deal with it. Just ask Chief Jackson's bride of 44 years, Cheryl. She's excited the love of her life is retiring and will get to spend more time with her and their eight grandchildren. But Mrs. Jackson says her husband will still remain close to his firehouse family. I will still want to share him. I know he's going to want to come drink his coffee, but I'm excited for va more vacations. We get to vacation in the summertime now, not worry about the hurricanes. He gets to come with me, and so that's what I'm looking forward to. Chief Jackson is leaving on a very positive note. Groundbreaking on a new fire station will take place in late summer. This building is as old as I am, so hopefully, you know, we're kind of retiring at the same time. But uh, that was my next big thing that I wanted to get done. Uh, I got it initiated, and the folks taking my place are going to take it and run with it. The man taking his place is Lance Bio, who served with Jackson for 25 of his 31 years as chief. Bio says he knows he has big shoes to fill, or in this case, boots. There's been four chiefs in Beaumont. There's been three in Port Arthur, Needland, and Port Natchez. And he's the only one that's been here. So, and it's not only what he's done for us, it's what he's done for the region. So filling in after him is a huge feat. Uh, so it's going to be big, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. And Chief Jackson has no doubt he's leaving the citizens of Groves in very capable hands. Everybody that's working here now, I hired. So yeah, I, I feel kind of proud that, you know, somebody I hired is going to take my place. But you could have picked, you know, several of those guys to do it. Lance is going to do a fantastic job. And Lance Bio officially takes over as the new Groves Fire Chief on Sunday. We wish him well in his new role and a happy retirement to Chief Jackson. Tiffany. Thanks, Angel. Develop